Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video I'm going to quickly talk about the OnePlus 6T. Now in this video I'm going to talk about a couple of amazing features that were implemented on the OnePlus 6T on the software side. And of course as somebody that uses a Samsung Galaxy smartphone as a daily driver I wish these, these features were also implemented in the Samsung Galaxy S10 or the S10 Plus. So let me show you what I'm talking about really quickly. Uh, the very first thing has to do with the actual fingerprint sensor. So basically if I turn off the phone if I tap on the display and if I log in and if I keep the fingerprint pressed down it actually gives me this quick shortcut menu that I can access from here to launch quick apps and if I want to exit it without launching apps I just squeeze down all right I mean uh, push down so again let me show you that real quick so just double tap here to wake up the screen or, or single tap keep it pressed and boom and then I can go up and I can move around and I can launch the calculator as I please. So that's a quick shortcut via the fingerprint sensor that's built under the display. I think it's a pretty cool feature. Now when you go into the settings uh, for the smartphone and if you go all the way down go into utilities you tap on it that option is actually at the quick launch option right here and this has been a recent addition to the software it was not there when the product was first launched. So you turn this on and then you have the shortcut settings you tap on this one and you can add or remove shortcuts from here. So I can remove the new tab shortcut, I can remove the new note shortcut, I can tap on add shortcuts and then I can go into shortcuts from here. There's a shortcuts menu. This allows me to pick any shortcuts that I want and then I can go to apps and actually launch apps. So I can add calculator as you can see, uh, calendar, camera, you know, Best Buy application. Then I go back over here and now I have one, two, three, four, five functions. And then if you look at the bottom here, uh, quick launch is only available through a locked screen. So as you unlock your uh, smartphone with a fingerprint, that's when that menu pops up as long as you keep it pressed down. And then if you swipe over here, it says if you, if you want to exit the quick launch option, you just swipe down, all right? So just one more time, let me tap over here, press and hold and keep pressing, okay? And then I can go to any one of these guys as you can see calculator boom all right that's fantastic now that's one feature that I wish as a Samsung Galaxy S10 owner that the uh, Galaxy S10 had also and one other feature that I think could be applied to any other smartphone on the market any Android smartphone is if you go to the settings and if you go into the uh, buttons and gestures at the bottom here again there's a new option that says quick activate the assistant app so you can quickly activate Google Assistant by using the actual power button all you have to do is hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to activate the assistant and when you do that the power off actually uh, kicks in after three seconds so take a look at this if I just tap the button it's gonna shut off no problem let me log in here uh, if I press and hold for three uh, 0.5 seconds it is going to launch Google Assistant which is a very convenient shortcut and uh, if I just press and hold for three seconds let's see one two three that's gonna bring up the regular power menu okay so normally if you have this disabled obviously if you press and hold quickly that power menu comes up but with this one they give you the option to launch Google Assistant and then after three seconds gives you the power down menu all right you can tap on this not much going on here but uh, that's also the other thing I want to talk about, all right? So that was a quick video about the OnePlus 6T. Uh, if you did not know about this feature, now you know. And if you do know about this feature, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below, both in reference to actually owning an X, uh, 6T and also in reference to wanting this feature on other smartphones. All right, that's the end of the video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.